Hi, my name's Victoria. This is Ross. I'm 45 and Ross is 38. We've been together around five and a half years now. And uh, in that time, we have been trying for a baby for three and a half years. Um, we've lost two in that process. The first one was a miscarriage. The second one was an ectopic pregnancy. We found out that my AMH levels were very low and I also have a number of other issues too, including endometriosis and a balanced translocation in my chromosomes, which obviously put us in a very difficult position. It was at that point we decided that egg donation would be an important process for us. That was the route we had to take if we wanted a natural pregnancy. Uh, between us. I already have a daughter from a previous relationship. Ross is an excellent stepdad, uh, but he also wants one of his own biologically, which is completely understandable. And I want to share that process with him too. Um, so we already had one round of fertility treatment back in March with a different clinic, but that didn't go as well as we hoped it would. The clinic wasn't as we expected it would be. And unfortunately that resulted in a negative result. Uh, yeah, negative test, wasn't it? Yeah, I think the previous place we went to, which was in Cyprus, let us down from what we hoped for and what we expected. Here's been excellent. IVF Spain is, is first class all the way in terms of the, uh, the communication has been so clear the whole time. We've known exactly what to expect at every step of the process. We've known exactly what's going to happen on specific days. Everything is ready as soon as you get here. There are no hidden surprises. There are no hidden costs. Uh, and it turned, it's been such a great experience coming here. Everybody speaks very good English, which for us is, is excellent. Although it's been a good chance for me to practice uh, un poco of my Spanish, <laughs> which is a bit rusty, but okay. Um, but yeah, the whole thing's been, from the beginning to the end of the process, really excellent. And I think anybody who's looking into this place could do a heck of a lot worse than coming here. Come see it, talk with the people. Um, and we've had the transfer this morning. so. The, uh, the embryo is in there right now. It's uh, day one in its new home. It's a grade A uh, blast assist apparently. So we've got two others in case uh, we want a brother or sister later in the process. It's nice to have that as well. But I think the difference, the key difference here between here and what we've seen previously is really communication and, and that having the knowledge of what's going to happen at every step of the process is so important to keeping uh, the recipient happy, to keeping me happy, to keeping everybody in the process happy, informed and comfortable with the process and everybody here has been so good with that, haven't they? Yeah, I also think uh, one of the other things I'd like to add in is the professionalism. Um, completely different, you know, last time it was on a floor of a hospital. Here we've got a clinic that's completely de dedicated to the process they're, they're trying to achieve. Um, they're much more, st it's a much more sterile environment compared to what we had previously and everything is is really particular and I love the fact that you know where you are each stage of the process um, it's difficult enough in all of this trying to find information yeah. and if you're getting given it getting given it properly it makes all the difference it's a stressful process going through the whole egg donation thing I know for Vic having accepted that she has to have uh, the egg donation that makes her feel awkward but Everybody's been so great in the whole process that it's made it easy, hasn't it? Whereas before we felt awkward um, when we went to Cyprus here, every step's been easy, been perfect. Uh, and I don't think we could be happier. So thank you very much.